All right, we back. Appreciate everybody for checking in. I don't really talk a lot of NASCAR, but I used to like to go to like uh, some of the races. I think more Formula One races used to come to Belle Isle in Detroit. So uh, I used to love to go to the races. I think every um, little boy that, you know, when I was growing up, and I think it still could be the same, you know, kind of changing, uh, used to love the motors, used to love the sound of race cars, used to love to go to the track and, um, you know, watch Formula One or watch the stock cars like NASCAR. I think every little kid loves that, man. Before you genuinely start to experience racism, you don't even feel that type of energy when you go to those races because they have the, the stands where, you know, you can play the virtual video games and you can get the autographs. And, you know, you are pretty much ignorant to the racist history that surrounds a lot of NASCAR and a lot of, you know, race driving. But every little boy loves the engine, loves the motor. They love to see go zoom and... It's just one of the great experiences that you can experience as a kid. You know what I'm saying? I think the love of cars for, for boys and some girls, I'll leave them out. You, do have, you did have Danica Patrick driving. You know, that's where it starts at. This is where you, you want to be a mechanic. You know, not just movies. You know, this is where it starts at. And for Bubba Wallace, who is a, a mixed biracial uh, guy, but he's a black man. His mother's black. His father is white. He is from Mobile, Alabama. They hung the noose his garage so let's speak on that for a minute hit the subscribe button bell icon button share the video and you want to know why you don't have more black people in nascar or you don't have more black people in um uh man i was thinking i just just lost my train of thought uh in the national Hack hockey league because it's the race issue i have a, a guy I went to high school with i catch up with every blue moon um you know his son is, is pursuing a career in hockey and I don't know how it's going, but I do know um, the racial issues that some black players face in hockey, and it's, a, it's very, very racist, man. And, you know, Bubba Wallace is trying to get the Confederate flag taken down, and what well, they did, you know, snatch it away from NASCAR, so it's no longer synonymous with it. And NASCAR is a highly racial, racist sport, you know what I'm saying? I don't see any black boy, you know, being able to look up at, at NASCAR and, you know, as they get older, and want to compete and do it. And that's why you don't have, you know, a lot of black, you know, people that pursue it. You know, we know why we don't have a lot of women that pursue it. But, you know, Bubba Wallace found a noose in his garage after, you know, basically getting NASCAR to snatch the correct federal flag. And, you know, this is, you know, at the end of the day, when you, how can I say, when you, you know, been supporting the Confederate flag for shit over decades and decades in the sport, and it's become synonymous and, you know, NASCAR is really a Southern sport. You know, that's what the South is is, 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 is synonymous with the Confederate flag. You know, it's kind of no different than, you know, Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben, uh, Cream of Wheat Dude, and they snatching that brand off. You know, people didn't, a lot of black people didn't understand the racial history and the bigotry and pr pretty much the blatant disrespect in they face with those brand names. And now that you have a black man uh, in NASCAR, you know, now he's saying, like, you're not about to disrespect me on this tour. You know, when I'm out here, take that shit down. And not only is he starting to take it down, they're asking colleges to take slave owner names down, the slave owner monuments down. They ask them to take Confederate flags down, this, that, and the third. And, you know, what 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 kind of warms my heart is that people, there are still some black people out here that understand, you know, they they get it. Because I have a feeling that, you know, just talking to, to a lot of the kids sometimes, they don't, they don't, they numb to racism or they just, you know, ignorant to it. They can experience racism and not know what it is. They think everything is fine and dandy. It's because a lot of these kids ain't never left the hood, you know, or they never left their neighborhood or their mother. If they live in a suburban neighborhood, they coach, they, they cuddle them and they don't really, they are, are insensitive to, you know, the racial things that's going on. So at the end of the day, they could be mad at them, but you have to evolve. You know what I'm saying? You really do. I mean, you got to get Tiger what Tiger Woods done for golf. That was pretty much a upper class sport. And he brought a black man, brought a lot of money to the table. So if Bubba Watson could be successful, he could bring more money and a different audience to the table. And if you're going to have black people sitting at the table who spend tr uh, over a trillion dollars a year in the economy, which people don't like to bring up. It's bring more money. You know what I'm saying? You can have the Confederate flag hanging in your houses. It's really nothing. And one guy said, Aubrey, I'm, I'm retired for this season. 
of this world. At the end of the day, I'm not knocking you. Stand on what you believe in. This is what you believe in. You believe in the Confederate flag. I don't know if you like it because it look cool. Do people understand what it means? This, that, and the third. It's a symbol of racism. So I'm not about to race for a company. It's a symbol of racism. But people getting on NASCAR, that's a lawsuit. This is a place of employment. You know what I'm saying? So Bubba Watson, or excuse me, you know, Bubba Wallace, whatever his name, I'm sorry if I butchered it, uh, thinking golf, you know, Bubba, Bubba Wallace, you know, can sue NASCAR for this. So NASCAR is just protecting their best interest. And once it gets out, oh, NASCAR is racist. NASCAR, see, most black people don't really understand it. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't never had nobody to follow. But us that, that watch NASCAR will understand NASCAR over the years. We know why we won't let our sons or daughters, you know, as black people or people of color, go compete in NASCAR. Maybe Formula One. But we know why because of the racist history. So it doesn't surprise me that when somebody comes in and makes a radical change to those drivers, that they're trying to make it a melting pot now. And the melting pot is going to bring more money to the table. That's what they don't understand. You can still practice your Confederate views. You still can, you know, do that at the crib. That's your personal bit, but it's, you shouldn't bring politics, religion, in the workplace. It just makes for a messy, a messy place. That's what people gotta understand. It just makes for a messy place. Just leave it at home. So they've been should have cut this Confederate flag out. You know, NASCAR, excuse me, has left millions and mil well, billions of dollars on the table by not having more people of color, not having more Air Arab drivers or black drivers or Indian drivers you know, or, or Asian drivers, they left a lot of money on the table. And it's time to pretty much integrate NASCAR because you're going to get more money. You know, but it doesn't surprise me, man. People want to act like racism is dead or, you know, it's kind of, you know, taboo to talk about. It's here. It's prevalent. Long as you, long as you, you have, you know, you know, people learning it and people practicing it, you know, it's there. So with them hanging a the noose, I'm not, I can't get irate, angry, fierce at something that I already know what it is. So, this, you know, Bubba is fighting something that's bigger than him. His legacy may be bigger than, you know, winning any race or, you know, winning Talladega or winning, winning whatever. His legacy is going to be bigger than that. You know, if he can open the door for, for more people of color, not just black people to play, to race a NASCAR and feel comfortable and want to do it, then it's going to change. Is it a fear that, you know, other minorities come and dominate NASCAR and change it? Yes, it's a fear. Anytime there is change from something that's been, you know, a certain way for decades and decades and decades, it's going to be some pushback. They're not going to just lay down in NASCAR and let him change the game. Don't be surprised if somebody don't put a bag on his head and try to take him out the game if you catch my drift. But, you know, hanging a noose, you know, just, just trying to spook him and scare him. It ain't no need to cry. Ain't no need to hang your head, your hat. You know who you racing next to. You know what it is. It's just time to be strong, and it's time for us to support Bubba and, and his race for equality and tearing and taking away the racist, you know, depiction and really racist NASCAR. If my son, you have a son, he want to race, he should be able to race and not experience racism. If you an Indian guy, your son want to race, he should want to race. Young boys love going to those races, and you shouldn't have to. They shouldn't have to experience the Confederate flag. They shouldn't have to experience racism. They have, shouldn't have. They should feel comfortable. It's a free and equal country, supposed to be, but they shouldn't have to experience that. And if they not, they don't want to take the Confederate flag down. You know, they don't want to stop being racist. You know, just to just you know just to make just to be right like some other major sports. Do it for the kids. That kid ain't done nothing. That that kid ain't done nothing for you. You can put a white kid and a black kid, and they can have a long building relationship. If nobody get get in between, they can care less if if Billy White and, and and John Black. They can care less about it. Racism starts at home. Racism is learned. You know, you always have those slim situations where you have a kid that um or a child that grows up that finds out that is wrong, or just just by the grace of God or whatever you believe in. He know that the racism is wrong and he goes against his parents or her, she goes against her parents' values. So, you know, that's something to look at, man. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, um, but we got to support Bubba straight up and down. However you feel, uh, we got to support him. White, black, orange, Simpson, yellow, brown. We got to support him because Mexican kids should be able to race. Black kids should be able to go out there 
and pursue it. Indians, Africans, everybody under the sun should be that's minority should be able to go to NASCAR and have an opportunity to work there, feel comfortable if you're a pit crew, if you're a racer, if you're a substitute racer, if you're a fan, you should be able to be comfortable and go to NASCAR because everybody loves loud engines. Chicks dig loud engines. Kids dig, dig the fast cars and the colorful cars. So everybody should have an equal opportunity to go out there and, have to, and shouldn't have to deal with this. So let me know what you guys think. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the videos. Um, don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We got a Facebook group. All those links in the description. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash App, PayPal, description. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. We know.